Hi there, parents. This is Mrs. Young. I am a fifth grade teacher at Berkeley Charter School. The reason why I'm making this video for you is because you'll be receiving two reports along with your child's interim report this coming week. You'll have one report called the STAR report and the other report is called the Discovery Report. You'll be receiving three Discovery Reports. One for Science, one for Math, and one for Reading. The reason why these reports will be coming home with your child is because the state of Florida has made a new law this year that states that any tests that are given to your child that's a diagnostic test and needs to be reported to the parents within 30 days of administering that test. So Berkeley thought it would be best if we send them home with our interim reports. The first report I want to talk to you about is what we call our STAR report. Berkeley takes this test four times a year. The first one we take right at the beginning of the school year and we call this our baseline report. That's what this report's going to be that you'll be getting for the first part of the year. You'll also receive a report around Christmas time and then you'll receive one around March and then our last one will be at the end of the school year. But let's go ahead and take a look at the GP. This is the grade level where your child is starting out right now and that's why it says 5.0 because it's the beginning of the school year in fifth grade. Next I want to let you look at the GE. This is grade level equivalent. This particular child took the test on the 28th of August and they scored 5th grade, 4th month. That's an, a, a good spot to be in because they're a little bit right above the 5th grade level. So they're at a comfortable instructional level. This particular level right here, IRL, stands for Independent Reading Level. This means this child can read, just take a book off a shelf and they should feel comfortable reading books at the ninth month for fourth grade year. Now the ZPD range, this is just letting you know that if your child goes to the library, they really need to be searching for books anywhere between third grade six month up to fifth grade six month. This way they should feel successful reading books on their level. Again, your child will have another star report generated around January in the winter time as well as in March and then at the end of the year. And our goal is that we see this to go up throughout the school year. So that way we can show growth with your child. So when you get this star report, open it up, take a look, and see exactly where your child is at currently for this beginning baseline test at the beginning of our fifth grade year. The other report I want to talk to you about is called the Discovery Report. Your child took three discovery tests at the beginning of the school year. They took it in science, reading, and math. This particular report I'll go over with you is obviously math. Now I want you to understand that this discovery report is to test your child on skills that's going to be taught during the fifth grade year. I don't want you to get this report and see that your child may have a level one and you start to panic. Because remember, your child has not been taught the fifth grade content yet. This is just for us to see what your child knows so far. Also, it helps us to show growth throughout the year. If your child starts as an achievement level of one, but then your child takes the test during the second window and they actually may score a little bit better. The skill score might go up a little. They may actually get more correct this time. Their percentage correct might be higher. And they may even get a higher level one or perhaps a two. Then that's showing that your child is beginning to understand the fifth grade math content. Now I want you to see what the diamond and the square represent as well as a triangle. Because we're a charter school, we are actually our very own district. This does not include Polk County Schools because the Polk County School does not take discovery tests. So when you see the diamond and the square, that just represents Berkeley Charter School fifth graders. Now what you will notice, your child's name will be right here, that the triangle represents your child. And this shows where your child might be along with other students in the fifth grade at Berkeley. 
Now, the majority of our kids fell around the average score of two. Now again, you might be thinking, that's not very high. Well, remember, they have not been taught the math content yet. And so this is just for us to see where they are as a whole group. However, if your child falls below the rest of the grade level, there may be some cause for concern. And so we really want to monitor that your child to make sure that we can show growth with them and help them, help them where they may have some um, areas where they need extra support. You might be contacted to have your child placed in tutoring, and that's okay because that means that we'll be there to support them. However, please don't be discouraged because remember, this is the beginning of the year and our goal is that on test B, it might go a little higher, then it'll go a little higher and our goal is by test D, they're in our targeted achievement level where we want them to be, which is a passing level three or four. Now four will be up in this area right here. So again, the square and the diamond represents Berkeley Charter School. A triangle represents your student. The gray area is where we'd like for your child to be in by test D. And again, if they're above that, that just means that they are in the level four range. The areas down here are the different content that you'll be having. And this is now going to be math data. However, you will also receive one for science and you'll have one for reading as well. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact your child's homeroom teacher to set up a conference. I hope this video helped you understand how to read the STAR report and our discovery assessments. Thank you and have a great day.